I don't want to assume. Mm -hmm. Are you strictly into guys? Yes. Do you get hit on by girls? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the ratio? Guys versus girls hitting on you? Uh, out of 100%. 50-50. If you're not into females, how do you brush that off? Um, I just tell them, I'd be like, I ain't, I ain't on it. You have friends. Mm. Ever had a female friend try to turn it sexual? Mm -hmm. Things get awkward after that? <laughs> yeah. Have you had to cut a friend off because of that? No, nah, it really, no, nah, I haven't, no. Nah. Now, when it comes to guys, what do you look for? What are some characteristics? I like ugly niggas. Like, mm, I, don't, I don't like niggas that look too good because it's just like everybody going to want them. Like, I don't like that. Like, I just, because niggas that look good, they be into that so too much, and I ain't with that. I like, I just always like ugly niggas, and... They got to be hood a little bit. I ain't going to say they got to be hood, but I prefer it. You know, I would love, love them to be hood. And I don't like skinny niggas. Like, they got to have a little a little weight on them. Okay. Yeah. Not not fat, though. Because when I say that, the fat boys get happy. No. No teddy bears. No teddy bear way. No teddy bears, mm -mm. but not skinny or thin. Uh, average. Average. What about athletic? Ooh, no. I don't like athletes. I don't like R&B singers. No. When I say athletic, I don't even mean an athlete. I mean somebody that's like physically yeah, fit, got a muscle like tone. I don't like that. You don't like that? Nope. I just never liked it. You don't like the pretty boys, but when it comes to you saying you like ugly guys, are we <laughs> talking ugly to you? Are we talking ugly to other females? To me, because, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, even if he ugly and I put my hand on him, guess what? Everybody going to want him. So, yeah, um, they can be ugly, ugly, like, you know, they, you know, ugly still going on, like, big teeth or something, like, ooh, no. Like, they got to be, I can't explain it. I wish I could show you, but no, nah, I can't do it like that. I wish I had an ugly chart right now I just wish to see how. <laughs> so I could show you, like, what's my ugly, like, what would I go for? Okay, what about, like, scars on the face? I ain't, I ain't no judgmental person, but it just depends on what type of scar it is. What about face tattoos? I mean, I, like I said, I'm not a judgmental person, but I mean, I might like it, though. Mm-hmm. What about age? Is a man's age important to you? It used, I used to didn't care about it, but uh, nah, I do. I like older niggas. How much older than you are we talking? Okay, I'm 20, so I like, like, 20, 25? I mean, I'll talk to somebody 25, but like 23, no, kind okay. of 22 maybe. What's the biggest age difference you've been in a relationship with somebody was it like i mean you said 20 to 23 so that would be yes, a three-year gap i've never been in a relationship with somebody older than me but what about the age difference what's the biggest age difference that i been? have ever talked to yeah. um i think 23 24. so three four year age gap mm -hmm. and how did those work out <laughs> how did it work out did yeah. it work out did it go anywhere i don't so I don't know. I don't really know. It, it was there and then it just went away. Was age the issue or no? No, age definitely wasn't the issue. <laughs> huh. Now what about religion? Is that important to you? Um, For a guy? Yeah, because... Um, some, like, okay, I may be, I remember once I was on Face sorry, FaceTime with this dude, and um, I was reading, like, um, the Bible or something, and he, he had a problem with it. He was like, so, you reading the Bible, like, like it was a joke, and I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with that? And he just thought that was funny, and I don't think that's funny, so I don't need nobody who thinks it's funny. I need somebody to be like, 
I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, but it's not funny. Now, what about the romance department? Most romantic things someone has done for you or you have done for someone else. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty young, so I don't know how romantic you've been yeah. yet, but just curious. I don't, ain't no nigga ever did nothing romantic for me. Not yet. No, nah, not yet. Do you like that sort of stuff? Do you like the lovey-dovey stuff or no? I do, but I don't. What do you mean? Like, I like attention, but I just don't like no, I just don't like nobody on me too much. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't like that. I never did. What about cuddling? It depends on what type of mood I'm in. Like, some, sometimes, like, when I'm at home, I be wishing that I had somebody to just be under. But sometimes I just be like, I want to be to myself. I'm really a loner. Like, I like being to myself. Like, I don't like going out. I don't like doing nothing. What about public affection when you are out with somebody? Um, When I was in high school, maybe. But I'm older now. I don't. And I got an image. So I can't do certain stuff. Like, I can't do the same stuff I used to do because little girls look up to me. So I try to be mindful of what I do and what I say. Like what? What's an example of something you wouldn't do anymore? Um, I wouldn't get on Twitter saying certain stuff like I wouldn't repost nasty stuff or I ain't going to say something nasty or like I just wouldn't be so affectionate. I just wouldn't show PDA. I just wouldn't do all that because I know little girls look at that and they mama's little and they're going to be like, oh, you can't listen to music more because she doing all that wild shit. I see. When it comes to somebody in a relationship with you, mm -hmm. who wears the pants? Me. You but wear the pants. Yes, but I'm tired of doing it. Like, I need somebody who can kind of tell me what to do, but I'm going to be real. Every time I kind of find somebody like that, I don't take them seriously. I be laughing, and they be pissing them all. Like, what you laughing for? Like, I told you to go do this. Like, I can't, but I, I be want somebody to tell me what to do, but I can't. I can't deal with it. Like, you can't tell me what to wear. You can't tell me what not to wear. You can't tell me what not to post. Like, mm -mm. I wear the pants. What about industry guys? <laughs> Do you prefer industry guys or not? Um, I'm not, I don't want to make it seem like no group in there. So I don't want to just say industry guys are real. But I'm going to tell you why I pick industry guys. Because when I try to talk to None industry guys, they real insecure. Like, they don't understand the process of what I have to do. Like, certain posts, like, what I, I know if I do this picture, what it's going to do and what kind of follows I'm going to get in. You know, it's certain stuff I, I just know marketing-wise. But to a non industry dude, he ain't going to understand it. He going to be controlling, like, no, you can't post this. You can't do this. Oh, I feel like you talking to this rapper. So I like industry guys, but I don't talk to any. Like I would rather talk to Window, somebody who doing music, produce something. But no, I don't, I don't talk to nobody. I'm single. So far. So far, somebody gonna want. Well, a lot of people want me, but I'm just stiff on these niggas. So I don't have time. I'm trying to be with little baby in the mid. Like I'm trying to be selling out records and stuff and I don't I'm trying to be what it is. I don't I don't have time to talk to nobody. But sometimes stuff happens when you least expect it. You right, but it ain't happen yet, so now you you prefer industry guys. You've been with industry guys before? No. You haven't yet. But you just prefer that. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Because if you did I, I had further questions. But since you haven't, it's okay. I'll probably ask you after you do. Okay. Now, how much harder is it to find a genuine relationship? The more popular you're getting, the more successful you're getting, how do you deal with that? Um, well, it's going to be real hard because, I, I mean, I know the real fun of fate. And I, the way I look at life, I feel like it's a game. And I'm going to 
keep playing it till I win. And I feel like I'm always winning because I, I be so many steps ahead because I know who not really fucking with me. But I play like I don't know. Like, they be feeling like I don't know, but I definitely know. I'm just playing the game with them, and I'm going to keep winning. So, yeah, the how, more. How can you tell the real from the fake? The genuine from the Because, the like... If somebody really fuck with me, when they come around me, is you just gonna be worried about having you just gonna be into me and what we got going on in the situation. You not gonna be trying to record me like like people when they get around me, I know when they don't fuck with me because they just be trying to record me, like saying they was with me or you know, shit like that. And I'll be like, What the fuck? That's some groupy shit. Like, I just know. I, I feel it. Now, have you had uh, boyfriend trouble with the music career at this point? Nah, I, I ain't been in a relationship. Mm -mm. No way. Not while the music's been serious for you. I mean, he ain't. I mean, I, it was one little nigga, but he was my boyfriend. That was well, he was my ex-boyfriend for like some years, but I don't do him no more. Just curious, though. Mm -hmm. um, when you do get into a relationship with this music career that you do have, do you want to incorporate whoever it is into your career or keep things separate? So for example, in the studio, would you want them around in the studio with you? Would you want them not to be in the studio with you? Um. <laughs> We're speaking hypothetically at this point how you feel. Um. Okay, well, if I decided, like, I, I think about it all the time, like, okay, if I get in a relationship, I wouldn't want to broadcast it. I, I want everything to be separate in. But I ain't going to lie, though. If I do get a boyfriend, I would want him to come to the studio. But I wouldn't want to broadcast it. Like, I'm in the mm -hmm. studio with my boyfriend. Like, if I ever get a boyfriend, it's going to always be a secret. You will know I got a boyfriend, but you ain't going to never know what he look like. Like, mm -mm. Secrets are hard to keep nowadays. They are, but that's going to be one secret that's going to be kept. <laughs> we ain't going out like that. So music video shoots, backstage mm -hmm. at concerts, would you want your future boyfriend to be around those type of environments? Yeah, most definitely. Reason why I ask is sometimes people find that to be distracting. No, I know how to, you know, mm -mm. it won't be distracting to a certain extent. Now, you're, as I mentioned, you're young, mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like, I don't know how much experience you've had with a boyfriend or not, just in your past dating history, but have you experienced, I'm still going to ask you this question, Louise, have you experienced real love before? I thought I did. She me. She me. Hell no. Because if I did, we'll still be at it, and that's not what's going on. Like, it seems like when somebody, when something bad go wrong with somebody that I love, I'm there. Or if they got a flaw, I'm still there. But as soon as something went wrong with me, it's, it wasn't the same. And, and that's not love. You're supposed to love me no matter what. Best relationship advice you can share with us today? What's one thing you would leave us with? Could be a variety of things, but what's one thing you would leave us? Um, love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, how, they, how anybody else gonna love you? Oh, my stomach going crazy. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm not even hungry. Damn, stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I know y'all hit it. Shit. 